Hello friends, welcome to another video from BCO B.Tech. This time I come up with a third year topic, third year electrical circuit theory topic that is network synthesis. I mainly put this video to support those students who are going to write their exams on coming Wednesday. So this network synthesis, it is a sure 10 marks question coming from this topic network synthesis that is to form foster 1 and 2 forms and core 1 and 2 forms. For this video, I will explain you Foster 1 and 2. So, let us start the video. So, let me start describing this Foster 1 and 2 with the help of one question taken from KTU July 2017. See, in one question paper, it is very definite. Uh, Foster 1 and 2 realization question is very definite and it carries about 10 marks. See, network synthesis means you will be given with a function, a set of us, an impedance function or a y of us. That means an admittance function. From that function, you have to develop a circuit containing resistor, inductor or capacitor anyway. Okay. So, Foster 1 form says that you have to uh, or to implement a Foster 1 form, you need for Foster 1 form, you require a set of us function. And for Foster 2 form, you require an admittance function which is y of s. Okay. So, for this question, uh, the function given is a set of s1. So, we can directly take Foster 1 representation out of this function. But if you need to uh, realize a Foster 2 representation, Foster 2 network, you have to get the y of s out of this function. That is just take the reciprocal of this function. And then that means um, y of s for this function will be s into s square plus 4 divided by 4 into s square plus 1 into s square plus 16. 16. So, here y of s for uh, making use of this function y of s you can get the Foster 2 form. And with this function z of s you can get the Foster 1 form. Okay. And so, that is the main thing the first step. And the second step is you have to get many product, many factors in the denominator side. Here it is already given that is you should have only the factors in the denominator side. I mean you can have any numerator divided by some factors written in many brackets like this. And you cannot have a plus or a minus in between them. So make sure your denominator contains only these brackets and no plus or minus uh, symbols in between them. Okay. So, here set of s is ready with denominator containing only the brackets send it and inside brackets it is uh, no problem that if you have any plus or minus indications but outside the term completely can have only one term the denominator must contain only one term. Okay. So, you should have your denominator separated with many brackets like this. Okay. So, that is the second step. So, the first step is to get the set of s function. For Foster 1 form, you need set of s representation and for Foster 2 implementation, you, can, you need y of s function. And the second step is to get many brackets in the numerator, I mean denominator. Whether it is in Foster 1 or Foster 2 form, you must have only brackets in the denominator. Fine. Now, the third step is to make I mean to apply the partial fractions for this function. Okay, I have explained the partial fraction in my previous video. So, you have to get splitted. This function completely must be splitted to partial fractions. We will check through for this problem. And after making or after splitting the complete function to partial fractions, you have to compare with this list and get the elements and put in the Foster 1 and 2 representation. Before that, Foster 1 form, as I have said, for Foster 1 representation, for Foster 1 realization, you need set of s function, and for Foster 2 realization, you need y of s function. Also, the circuit is also in similar way. That is, here you have all the blocks in series connection. Okay. And here for Foster 2, you have the blocks in 
parallel connection. And what you have inside the blocks? Inside the blocks, you will have these uh, diagram, uh, like a simple uh, inductor or simple capacitor or a combination of capacitor and resistor. Okay, so in uh, Foster 1 blocks, you will have these many diagrams. And you can notice that inside this block, inside every block, you have parallel combination. But completely the blocks are arranged in series. Similarly, in Foster 2 form, all the blocks are arranged in parallel. And inside these block, in, inside these parallel blocks, you have these combination. Like a simple capacitor or, or simple inductor or a series combination of LC, RC, LC etc okay so inside these blocks you have series combination but the blocks are arranged in parallel but inside these blocks you have parallel combination but the blocks are arranged in series so you have to memorize this complete list very perfectly then only you can get through this 10 marks okay so let's continue with that question so first step was to for foster one form you have to get the set of s value which is ready there and the second step is to get the denominator side only brackets must be there in the denominator side that's also ready and the third step is to take partial fractions for this so i am doing partial fraction so you have two terms i mean two brackets in the denominator which indicates you have you must have two fractions in the RHS that is for s you can have simply a by s and for second term that is s square plus 4 you must have b s by s square plus 4 why because here it is a second degree polynomial so you must have a first degree polynomial in the numerator side okay now multiply completely with LHS denominator so it becomes 4 into s square plus 1 so here when I divide, when I multiply with LHS denominator, S and S gets cut off. Now it is A into S square plus 4 plus BS into S square plus 4 and S square plus 4. This is the LHS denominator, right? So S square plus 4, S square plus 4 gets cut off. S comes here. Okay. So when I give S equal to 0, when I give S equal to 0, what happens? 4 into 1 into 16. 4 into 16 that is 64 which is equal to 4 in 4 plus 0 is 4 4 a send it so a is equal to 16 and how to get b value i think let's give another number for s let uh, let us take a simple number s equal to 1 for that you have 4 into 1 plus 1 4 into 2 into 1 plus 16 is 17 equal to what's a value a is 16 then inside the bracket 1 plus 4 which is 5 plus b into 1 into 1 b solving it out you get b is equal to b is equal to 56 okay so let's substitute over here a is 16 and b was 56 with s okay so our set of s is now being reduced to two fractions now it's time to compare compare these two fractions with the list that i have written in the last page here okay so let's compare so these are our terms 16 by s plus 56 s by s square plus 4 you need to get the pattern out from this list that is 16 by s is like this type send it a capacitor with a value so this is simply a capacitor with a value by comparing a value 16 but uh, the capacitance value will be 1 by a so it is 1 by 16 and this fraction 56 s by s square plus 4 it is similar to this thing a s by s square plus b isn't it 56 s by s square plus b so here uh, a value is 56 by comparison with this particular fraction and b value is 4 okay 
so this actually is a combination of inductor and a capacitor send it and inductor has the value a by b and what's our a and b 56 and 4 so 56 by 4 is 14 so 14 henry is the inductor and what's what about the capacitor it is 1 by a so it is 1 by 56 okay so these are the elements uh, for this particular set of s function and let's arrange them as in this diagram okay you have to actually inside these blocks you must have this capacitor and this combination since you have only two fractions you need not want this third block so let us draw it neatly you have two fractions so two blocks are there inside which you have one single capacitor and then this 56s by s square plus 4 indicates a combination a parallel combination of inductor and capacitor 14 and 1 by 56 inductor and a capacitor okay let's remove this block So, what are the values? These are the elements. You should have a capacitor of value 1 by 16, unit is farad and an inductor with value 14 Henry and a capacitor with value 1 by 56 farad. And here is the set of us. So, this is the Foster 1 realization. It is that simple. Okay. Now it is time to take Foster 2 realization. So next is Foster 2 realization. Foster 2 realization as I said the function must be a y of s function. That is the first step. The For Foster 2 realization your function given must be an admittance function. But here in this question it is an impedance function set. So how to take y of s? Just take the reciprocal of impedance function that is s into s square plus 4 divided by 4 into s square plus 1 into s square plus 16 okay so that is the first step and the second step is to confirm that the denominator must have only brackets okay no separation of these brackets must be there with plus or minus signs inside these brackets you can have plus and plus or minus signs but as a whole the denominator must contain only one term Okay, so that is already done for this question and the third step is partial fractions. Okay, you have to get the partial fractions for this function that is let us keep this 4 aside and for this particular function I mean for uh, this particular factor it is a s by a square plus 1 plus for this fraction it is b s divided by a square plus 16 because if it is a second degree polynomial you must have a first degree polynomial in the numerator. Okay. Now multiply with LHS denominator. So it is S into S square plus 4. I think we can take this 4 last. Okay. Let us take this 4 last. Okay. So continue. Multiply the LHS denominator over here. So S square plus 1 gets cut off. So it becomes AS into a s into a square plus 16 then b s into a square plus 1. So this is the equation and to find a and b I think when I substitute s equal to 0 we will be left with nothing. Why because when s equal to 0 LHS turns 0 RHS also turns 0. So we cannot get anything out of it. So let us take another method that is compare the coefficients in LHS s into s square is s cube so the coefficient of s cube if we compare s cube coefficient you get in LHS it is 1 s cube so 1 is the coefficient and in RHS if you expand it a s into s square it is a s cube so the coefficient is a and b s into s square it is b s cube so there the coefficient is b so a plus b equal to 1 okay 
Next, if I compare S coefficients, what happens? S into 4, 4 is. So, 4 is the coefficient of S in the LHS side. And in the RHS, AS into 16. So, 16 AS. 16 A is the coefficient. Plus, in the second term, BS into 1 is BS. So, B is the coefficient. So, I get two equations and two unknowns. From this, you can easily get the values for A and B. Let's solve. So, here are the values for A and B. Now, let us substitute over there. A is 1 by 5, B is 4 by 5. A is, A is uh, 1 by 5 and B is 4 by 5. But remember, we have a 4 kept aside. Here, there is a 4. Okay. So, let us take this 1 by 4 inside. It becomes, so this is actually 1 by 4 into 1 by 5, it is 1 by 20 s divided by s square plus 1 plus 1 by 4 into 4 by 5, it is 1 by 5 s divided by s square plus 16. So, these are our fractions and now let us compare these with the list. Okay. So, these are our terms, these are our fractions, now let us compare. The first term is AS by S square plus B. So, here is the pattern AS by S square plus B. So, this indicates a combination of inductor and a capacitor. And here we have the value that is A is equal to 1 by 20 and B is equal to S square plus B, S square plus 1. So, B is equal to 1. And inductor is 1 by A. That is 1 by 1 by 20 is 20 Henry and capacitor is A by B. What is A by B? It is 1 by 20 farad. So, one combination is ready from this fraction. And second, for the second fraction also, it is of this type, A s by S square plus B. Send it. So, here A is equal to 1 by 5 and B is equal to 16. So again, this is a combination of inductor and a capacitor. And inductor value is 1 by A. So, 1 by 1 by 5, this is 5 Henry and capacitor is A by B. So, 1 by 5 divided by 16. That is about 1 by 80 farad. Okay. So, you have two fractions. So, you need only two blocks. Okay. Since you have two fractions alone, you need only two blocks kept in parallel. And inside these blocks, you must have a combination of L and C. L and C. So, let me draw neatly L, C and another L, C. For the first fraction, it is 20 Henry, 1 by 20 Farad. Second case, 5 Henry and 1 by 80 Farad. And here is your Y of S. And this representation is called Foster to form. There you will have your easy 10 marks. So, hope you like this video. If you like the video, please do like, share and subscribe it. Till we meet in the next class, this is Meenu signing off. Thank you and take care.